Hey, what's up, YouTube land? It's your boy, Eddie Hill, the Pennsylvanian toy collector. And it's time for another Eddie Hill review. It's review time, people. And today is another throwback, and this is Transformers. Legends. Bumblebee. My very first Bumblebee. Before all the other Bumblebees I owned in Transformers, he was my very first. I got from Dollar General for about five bucks. And this is an old school Legends figure. And he rolls like rolling things should. And he's really well painted, really well sculpted. I've kept him nice and maintained all these years. And I'm so glad I finally got a chance to review him. But that's all there is to say for vehicle mode. Let's get down to the transformation. Which is very simple. You split these doors from the cab section. Rotate the legs down. Hinge the feet. Rotate the, the upper section down to form the backpack. And there we got our little bumblebee. And he is a good looking bumblebee. If I do say so myself. Now for comparison, we're going to show him off with the evolutions of bumblebee I have picked up over the years. Here is Legends Bumblebee next to Creo Battle Changers Bumblebee. Nice looking version. A Bumblebee, if I do say so myself, is the Creo version. Titans Return Bumblebee, my third Bumblebee in my collection. Not bad, if I do say so myself. Next is Bumblebee Worthy Bumblebee, and they look good together, if I do say so myself. And finally, for the last comparison, is a newer Bumblebee. Here we got Netflix Bumblebee next to Legends Bumblebee. And this is G1 Accurate Bumblebee, and this is Legends Bumblebee. And they look good together. You're probably wondering, why haven't I shown this figure off sooner? Well... There's a reason I've been trying to find him for all this time, and I finally found him so I could review this guy, and I'm so glad I dug him, found him, and got to review him. I am so happy to review this. And I've had this figure for so long. It's so good to find him and review him. Is he worth adding to your Transformers collection? Yes, if you love Bumblebee, he is worth it. You probably can't find him at Dollar General anymore, but maybe you could find him on Amazon for about 6 or 10 bucks if you're lucky. He is worth the money, no matter what you pay for him. And that's all there is to say for this review. If you like this video, make sure to like, make sure to comment, and don't forget to subscribe for more videos like this. And this is Eddie Hill. Moving on and rock on and rock out YouTube land.